Hey guys, JHMiller01 here, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually going to be doing a little overview on how you can start filming your fishing videos for very cheap. Now we're going to go ahead and get started, and I'm going to start going over the gear behind me on this table and explain to you guys how you can start today. Now I'm going to be organizing this video into two distinct parts, one of which is going to be if you just want to get out and uh, just film your fishing experiences. Anybody can do this and uh, all you need is a camera and a few other things of course. The second one will be if you want to go all in and try to be a fishing YouTuber. You know, be filming vlogs, editing everything. I'll be going over both of those routes today but first we're gonna go ahead and start out with just filming your everyday fishing videos. Now as we go over each one of the items here I'm going to list in the bottom right I'm going to be listing the price of this item so that you can go ahead and see kind of how much it's going to be to uh, to get those items. Something I should go ahead and mention now, all of the items that I mentioned today, there will be links in the description. So check out the description you know, as I go or at the end of the video, I'm going to have it clearly organized between the two distinct routes. So I want to go ahead and start out with the absolute must. If you're going to film a fishing video, you really need an action camera. The camera that I have here is a GoPro Hero 6 Black. Uh, if you really want to, you can upgrade and get the 8, but I believe it's like $400. And if you don't want to spend $250, there are plenty of uh, other brands of action cameras. But for me, I would go ahead and stick with GoPro just because it's what I know. So again, the GoPro Hero 6 is going to be around $250. There's a link in the description below. So again, the GoPro will be about $250, and uh, that's a must. You need an action camera. And I'll go and look some other options and uh, put the price for that as well if you want to see. So you've bought your GoPro and you're good to go. But if you're going to film these videos successfully, you really need one of these. It's a GoPro Essentials Kit. This one's by Insignia, and it comes with a bunch of things, a bunch of little tripods, mounts, uh, screws, uh, just so many things that you're gonna need to make these videos. But one thing in specific that comes in the box that you really need is this little guy right here. This is a chest mount. All the videos that are on my channel and any other fishing channel I've seen, they all use chest mounts because you can clip it on, throw the GoPro in, press record, and go and uh, that's really easy to do and there's nothing to it. You just throw on a chest mount and fish. So you definitely need a chest mount at the minimum. Now to get the most out of your GoPro, you're gonna need some batteries. Long days on the water, if you're like me, I go out for around eight hours on a really long trip and you really need enough batteries to be able to get it through the day. So as you can see right down here, I got four batteries and two dual chargers, all made by GoPro. Something I want to specify here, you do not have to get GoPro batteries and GoPro chargers. That's what I went with because that's just what I knew. But batteries from GoPro cost around $20 a piece and the dual chargers, which come with a battery each, they cost $50. That adds up really fast. So there's some other batteries. Uh, I know ones that a lot of people use are Wasabi batteries and those work just as well. So I'm going to go and link the GoPro official batteries, dual chargers, as well as the Wasabi batteries and chargers down in the description below as well as the prices so you can see kind of which one you want. Personally in the future I'll be using Wasabi batteries just because they're a lot more cost effective. So you've got the GoPro, you've got the batteries, you got the dual chargers, chest mount, you got everything you need. There's only one more thing you gotta have and it's tiny but it's probably the most important part of it all. A little micro SD card. Now usually I use 128 gigabyte SD cards just because I want to be able to fit two or three days worth of fishing on it in case I go on a longer trip. But if you want to, a 64 gigabyte will work. I would go ahead and get a 128 gigabyte micro SD card. You can fit a lot of footage on them and they really aren't that costly, but you have to have an SD card. The more you get out and fish, the more SD cards you might have to use. For me, I have, I know, six or seven SD cards, whether it be the big cards for the camera right here or the micro SD is for the GoPro, I have a ton. On the 128, I'll get probably five hours worth of footage out of it. So you have a lot of storage. So I'll go ahead and link a few different options in the description below. Now the last thing you'll really need if you just want to go out and film for fun and just get those catches on video. For me, you know, I have my personal best bass on video. I have alligator gar on video. There's so many things that GoPros allowed me to do. So it's just a good time. But anyway, the last thing you're gonna need is one of these little guys right here. It's an SD card adapter. This one's for a computer. 
And uh, this one right here is for Apple. You can get them for Samsung too, but that's the one I just showed you. Uh, you can plug into your phone or computer, and what you do is you just put that SD card in there, and uh, you can download all your files and footage and put them on your computer, on your phone, wherever you want them, you can download them. So that's really all you need to go ahead and start out fishing and filming your videos. Just a basic action camera of some sort, SD cards, batteries, and a chest mount, and of course something that you can download your footage, like an, you know, an adapter so you can download your footage. That's really all you need to get out and film your videos if you want to do it for fun. Now we're actually going to get into really seriously filming videos, editing videos, everything that I do, I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you guys right now. Now, this is for the people who really want to get into fishing and filming. You're going to need everything I just mentioned, at minimum. You're going to need all the SD cards, you know, GoPro, batteries, chest mount, tripods, pretty much this whole little insignia kit right here. I just get you one of these if you really want to start, like, seriously vlogging and fishing. Next thing you're going to need is a, uh, you don't have to get one of these. It's an external hard drive. This one's, I want to say it's a terabyte. But if you're going on a longer trip and you really just need to film each day and dump your footage, that is a freaking amazing option. You can go ahead each day, offload all your files onto that terabyte hard drive and not worry about them. The next thing you're going to need is some way to edit your videos. Now me, I use Final Cut Pro on my MacBook right here. I love it best editing software I've used. Anyway, Final Cut Pro is pretty expensive, but again, if you're really wanting to do it, I would invest in Final Cut. Now, if you don't have a computer of some sort, you can always use your trusty old phone. You can get iMovie, there's plenty of editing softwares on there, but getting a computer and editing on that, if you have one available for you, is much easier. Now, of course, there's if you don't have Mac or Apple, there's plenty of editing softwares on Microsoft that you can go ahead and get that do just about the same thing. But you really need a way to edit your videos so you can get some quality behind them. If you really, like, again, this is for the hardcore, you know, fishing YouTuber wannabes, this is what you really need. You need a vlogging camera of some sort. The one I'm filming with right now is a Canon 70D. I love it. It's better for pictures, but it still takes some really nice video. That's why I use for my vlogs. I definitely get a vlogging camera if you can. Another thing, you don't have to get a vlogging camera. You can use your phone if you have more than a gigabyte of storage on it, unlike me. My phone is full. You can use your phone for vlogging if you want to. It's really easy, you just whip it out of your pocket and video. For me, I really like this big camera. Again, link to this camera and everything with it is down below. Another thing you'll need for for filming these videos is a nice mic. Now I have a Movo VRX10 GY on this camera. It has a wind guard on it, so if I'm filming out windy conditions, it enables me to film with good audio no matter the conditions. So I definitely get a mic. You don't have to. I went without a mic for forever, but if you want those higher quality videos, a mic is definitely in your best interest. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video explaining everything that you really need to start filming your fishing videos. Links to everything I mentioned in this video are down in the description below. You can go and buy whatever you need, SD cards, batteries, GoPros, mounts, anything you need is down in the description below and it's clearly labeled so it's easy for you guys to use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I missed something, go ahead and comment it down below and uh, tell me what you would recommend for starting out filming fishing videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, J.H. Miller went out. See ya.